threats. They'd replace us all with robots given half the chance. Briefings are awful. Air is too sterile for human lungs. Endless electric blue schematics sting the eyes. And a suit from post Terran whose droning voice would make Armageddon sound boring. They need me, they have the equipment I need. Why does this fool keep babbling? These robots did not function to specifications. Our lunar mining stations are now in unknown hands. You will have multiple objectives on this mission. You mean contradictory objectives, don't you? Destroy all infected mines. Keep the invading force from spreading further. But be sure to rescue any survivors. Destroy as many robots as possible. And each one of these objectives is the most important. Why did they have to design this mission by committee? This can only be done by the material defender in situ. Translation from bureaucraties? They're hosed, and I'm the only one who can cut their losses. That's the trouble with working for the largest bureaucracy in human history. Hail the glorious post-Terran Mining Corporation. Huzzah! The strategic weak spot of our mines is their fusion reactors. They are deep in each mine and completely automated. Knocking out the reactors will cause a system-wide meltdown within a matter of seconds. Getting out before the mine blows should be foremost in your mind. Yeah, and foremost on the minds of any poor slobs I haven't rescued yet. The infected mines now appear to be manufacturing new robots for their needs. Most are based on the designs of common mining mechs, but expect to see completely new ones as well. Here is the latest information from PTMC Intelligence. This is the standard emergency exit for PTMC mines. It's hardwired to open in the event of reactor failures. Uh, locating the exit hatches before destroying the reactors would be wise. Piloting a corp shop waste barge is starting to sound really good right now. And we feel you should know that intelligence reports indicate the convergence point of the robot invasion force is Earth. My stomach turns again. <laughs> You'd think they would get to the important part at the start of the briefing. Of course, to PTMC, their minds are the important part. I keep forgetting that. That is all, Material Defender. Prepare for descent.
I spark the subluminal engines, I feel the pressure on my triceps, chest, and gut as I pivot the ship. I can almost feel that mechanical nightmare behind me, rolling around in its final throes of death. Then the orbital sky lights up like a sun. I start to breathe again. Right on cue, a light on my dash tells me there's an incoming transmission. I must say that I'm impressed, Defender. I did not really expect to see you again. Such unwavering confidence. Despite your impressive performance, I regret to inform you that we cannot allow you to return to Shiva Station. What? He can't be serious. PTMC fears the alien influence responsible for aberrant robot behavior may be carried on your vessel. We cannot risk further contamination to PTMC systems. I'm a fool. He must have known this when he sent me out here. Uh, the sad truth is, PTMC has lost contact with all deep space installations outside the solar system. I'm sending you the coordinates now for your... I sneak him off before I completely snap. I used to wonder if blackmail appeared in the PTMC regulation books. Inertia hits me hard in the sternum as I thumb the afterburners, clearing the gravity well and heading toward the rendezvous coordinates in the asteroid belt. With luck, I'll find some answers there.